So this is what it's gonna sound like once we convert my vocals into Drake's vocals. I came in with my ex like Celine, not a flex. This is music producer Aidan Kenway in his home studio in Brisbane, half a world away from Drake's native Canada. He's clearly not the world famous hip hop artist, but using the latest AI technology, he's been able to recreate the star rapper's voice almost perfectly. Artificial intelligence is definitely the new era of the music industry. There's no turning back as far as AI goes in music. The song is called Heart on My Sleeve, which was released to global applause two months ago by a mystery artist known only as Ghostwriter 977. But the song is an AI fake, with no input or involvement from Drake or fellow Canadian artist The Weeknd whatsoever. We have a hi-hat, a snare. Aiden has broken the track down and then reconstructed it. So the um, snare, for example, has been taken up from C up to F. So instead of this, sounds like this. So the drums all together would sound like this. Layering in the piano. It's impressive work, but the bit that wows everyone is how AI technology will transform his voice from Aussie Aiden to hip hop superstar Drake. For recreating Drake vocals, you want to be talking out of the top of your mouth, like really, because it's really nasally voice. Eh. I'm going to be putting on that impression. I'm going to be doing an American accent, sort of how it sounds like in the original song. That's how you can recreate this as accurately as possible. Let's go. I came in with my ex like Celine, not a flex, a eh? Then during a short conversion, I came, I came, I came, I came, AI sources the sounds of Drake's real voice to repeat Aiden's vocals. You are going to find more competition in the music industry. So Drake is now competing, for example, with AI Drake. And AI Drake is comprised of every single producer and ghostwriter who wants to create music like Drake. So this is now an arms race between original artistry and independent artistry. And it's not just living artists are drawn into this new battleground. AI covers are being produced en masse. You want to hear the Beatles taking on Oasis? It's been done. Michael Jackson singing Imagine. Yep, AI helped create that as well. The idea that someone who's passed away can now create music once again is scary and exciting at the same time for me. And I think the opportunities are endless. That is the main part to me that feels wrong. I think leave the dead people out of it. If they want to do AI music moving forward, fine, that's a whole kettle of fish, but leave the dead people alone. Sarah McLeod made her name as front woman of Aussie rock band, The Super Jesus. Today, she cuts a slightly more mellow figure. Now there's nothing in the way to show Music, she believes, will always be best when performed by a human. The best music is imperfect, though. And you want imperfections. Imperfections is what connects souls. When they are able to generate soulful, real singing with timbre and cracks, uh, that's when I would start getting really nervous. Sarah can see the benefit of AI helping to overcome writer's block, but says she'd never use it to write a whole song. I would be worried about what are they saying in my voice? Like, you know, are they going to talk about subjects that I don't align with? Are they going to make me a version of me that's not me? And that's a question that's baffling our country's legal experts. Nick Pullen specialises in copyright law. He says we're not ready legally for where AI music is taking us. Fundamentally, an artist has the right to the use of their image. An artist has a right to the use of the songs that they have created. But we don't really know what rights the artist has in relation to their voice, the manipulation of their voice through AI. The law will have to catch up. For producers like Aiden, the licence to lift other people's voices means more opportunities to make it big. It's really exciting to see new independent artists who have the ability but may not have the vocal capability of some of these artists. Now that they can actually convert their own voice into Drake's, it begs the question, 
do we still need Drake to make a hit Drake song? But established artists like Sarah McLeod will always see it differently. The pain of writing the song, the anguish of writing the song, the blood, sweat and tears is what drives a songwriter because you feel so good once you've written it. Songwriters would never want to lose that because there's no glory in just grabbing a song from someone else. I'll be brave in the Two sentiments I didn't think mm. I'd really ever hear when it came to the music world would be, do you still need Drake to make a Drake hit? <laughs> and also leave the dead people out of it. I feel yeah. like yeah. those... It's true, though. Yeah. Don't you think? It's grim I feel it's grimy, but I don't know. I understand there's a lot of skill that goes into it yeah, as well. Yeah, but what about course. when you really love the song it produces? So yeah. you're a big Taylor Swift fan, right? I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan. So let's say in 10 years' time, mm. AI's got to the point where they can release a Taylor Swift song that is mm. better than anything Taylor... Could have come up with. It's impossible, but Forgive yeah. me for saying it. Yeah, I know. That was crazy talk. But just imagine, just go with me in the scenario. All right, I'll okay. try. I'll so do you love, go with do it. Do you love the song or do you... Well, it's already happened. It? There's already been, like, lots of leaks that have come out that have yeah. been Taylor Swift. But, they're generally but then it's not, not right. her. But could no, you no, love but... it if it was a computer and not actually her? I don't know. It would be a completely different relationship with it, I think. I think there would be part of me that would be like, I can appreciate that as a song because it's something that I like sonically. Obviously, yeah, I'm yeah, attracted yeah. to it. But because Taylor didn't actually write it and may not be okay. a part of that, okay. then I would have an issue with I that. I take your point, I take your point, but I reckon people said the same thing about the transition from people playing instruments yeah. to instruments being digitised and everything being programmed, mm. and it turns out mm. people love the program music. Do, so do, you I, think, do you think, though, because I don't think that DJs have killed the music. Not DJs, people no, 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 no. I just mean, about that before it happened. I just mean people yeah. in lap, making music on laptops in their Producing. rooms rather than playing instruments. Mm. Yeah. I reckon there was a time where we thought, no way that'd catch on because it's not as human mm. and it's caught on here. But if they're doing that with their voice off key, I'm happy for them to do that. That's fine. Or use the auto tune, but don't make yourself sound like Someone Drake. Else's. Yeah. yeah. I think the yeah. real danger with the Taylor Swift scenario is that Taylor Swift actually starts dating an AI <laughs> and then oh. writes the breakup song about AI. Well, she'd have to break up with the AI. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, could yeah. be dangerous. AI did her wrong or something, and then she writes. <laughs> the best-selling album. Yeah. Yeah, it could happen. It's a sci-fi classic. Is <laughs> <what you're hearing? laughs>